Hey guys, it's Mika and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been MIA for some time, um, so I do apologize, but we have just moved into a new house, which is so exciting because that means there are so many projects to come. Um, and today we are gonna be making a boho mirror. Um, I got the inspiration from Pinterest and I absolutely fell in love with it. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. And yeah, as I said, new house, new project. So if you guys are keen to go on this DIY journey with me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications. To start off our project, you need jute twine. I've used four millimeters, some contact adhesive glue, large wooden beads, a screwdriver, some screws for your picture hanging hooks and the hook, a wool needle, cardboard that has been cut to the correct size of how long you want your tassels, some scissors, a round wooden board, a round mirror that is slightly smaller than the wooden board. To start off our project, we are going to grab our wooden board. Now we are going to attach the picture hanging hooks to our desired position at the back of the board using the screwdriver. Most screwdrivers are magnetic so it makes it a lot easier to twist the screw onto the back of the board. Also make sure that the screws are short enough and don't poke out the front of the board or else the mirror won't have a flat surface to stick on when we glue the mirror down. attached we're going to flip our board over, grab our glue and generously apply the glue to the back of the mirror. Make sure to leave a border around the edge so that when we push the mirror onto the board the glue doesn't seep out the edges. and apply some pressure to the mirror with your hands to secure it nicely to the wooden board. Now we're going to leave our mirror to dry on the side and we can start making our tassels. The width of your cardboard will be about the length of your tassel so make sure that you cut your cardboard to your desired length. First we are going to cut a piece of twine that we will use to tie the tassel. Next, unravel some twine to make it easier to wrap your tassel. Secure the twine at the top of your cardboard and start wrapping your tassel nice and thick. I'll be wrapping all my tassels 20 times around the board, so make sure that you keep count. Tassels are secure and tight by double knotting the rope at the top of the board. Next, we 
are going to remove the tassel from the cardboard by cutting the tassel off at the bottom of the board. out on itself making sure that the knot that we just tied is hidden and in the center of the tassel. that's long enough to start wrapping the head of your tassel. Grab your wool needle and thread the twine through the needle. tassel is neat and secure, we are going to complete our tassel by wrapping the rope three times around the head of the tassel. Grabbing the side with the needle, tuck the loose strand. Grabbing the side with the needle, tuck the needle. Grab the strand that's attached to the needle, tuck the loose strands into the tassel and pull tight to secure it. You can do the same to the other loose strand by threading the needle again and tucking it into the tassel. Now it's time to make enough tassels to fit nice and snug around the border of your mirror. Make sure you count your wraps and make them all the same size. Once all your tassels are completed, we are going to neaten them up by making them all the same length. I like to use one tassel as my sample tassel and cut all the other tassels to the same length. Now it's time for us to glue all our tassels to the border of our mirror. We are going to be applying our contact adhesive to the head of the tassel on the side of the knot. I'm going to allow the knot to sit over the lip of the wooden board when I stick it down. 
tassels, apply slight pressure to the heads of the tassels to make sure that they are all secure. If you are using the glue that takes a couple of hours to dry, try your best not to move any of the tassels out of position. Next we are going to be gluing our wooden beads to the inside of the tassels directly onto the mirror. When gluing your beads down, make sure that the bead openings are hidden from the face of the mirror by gluing all the beads with their holes touching each other. edges just to loosen the whole mirror up. Make sure you leave it to dry though, this is very very important. Um, when you're leaving it to dry just apply some pressure around the beads again and the tassels just to make sure everything is secure and in position and then once it's dry we can trim the sides. Okay guys, I am obsessed with this mirror. Um, I think it came out so beautifully. It came out just like my inspiration board, which is always a bonus. And I absolutely love it. Um, it's gonna look really, really, really beautiful in this house. Um, could even work right here. Yeah, so that was quite, I mean, it did take some time to make the tassels. Um, but other than that, that was a really, really fun project. I really enjoyed it and I am very pleased with the results. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And yeah, share it with your friends because everyone deserves a little decor in the house. Woo!